What's going on traders and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to trade options in Thinkorswim. So just a quick disclaimer, this video is for newer traders, maybe you're new to the Thinkorswim platform, maybe you just switched your brokerage. Either way, if you're a seasoned vet and have been trading options on Thinkorswim, you probably already know most of these methods. However, if you don't, you never know, you could learn something new, so stick around to the end. First of all, when we log in, we're going to be on the Trade tab, so make sure you have Trade click, and just below that, the default is All Products, so no need to move there. Just underneath that, you'll see this black box where we have SPY typed out. This is where you can choose what ticker you want to trade. We're going to use SPY just because it offers a wide range of expirations and strikes, so that's a good option to start with. Below that, if nothing shows up at first and your screen looks like this, that's no problem. We're just going to click this drop down that says Option Chain, and right away we'll be presented with all of these expiration dates on the left. In parentheses is how many days until that expiration date comes. Uh, and another important thing to note here is that we want to have our spread set to single. If it's not on single, you'll probably see some weird things that you're not familiar with, uh, and these are just due to more technical option strategies. So we want to have that on single, just so we're buying a call or buying a put and then selling that call or put. So for our first example, we're just going to click on the drop down here. December 2nd, 2019 uh, is going to be the expiration date. You can see here we have our strike prices, so they're whole dollars. We have 312, 313, 14, so on and so forth. We can change how many strikes we want to see here by adjusting the amount. So now we're seeing 8, now we're seeing 10, so on and so forth. The pink is highlighting what is in in the money option, and the black is out of the money. And the same thing for the puts. So we have in the money puts here and out of the money puts here. Up at the top, you can see we have our volume, open interest, theta, delta, and then bid and ask. Bid and ask is where you buy and sell. You can change all this stuff with the layout tab. You can customize. We're not going to get into that, though, so make it how you prefer. So the first way that you can trade options in Thinkorswim is trading directly in the chain here. So you can see that little sell box shows up when I hover over. This now says buy because we're on the ask. So I could click this. And now I have an order window down here where I can confirm my order. I can adjust it, the quantity. I can, oops, we want to go up. So if I want to buy two, I can change the expiration date, the strike, the type, and the price. If I want to buy it at a limit, you know, maybe I want to buy it at 53 cents, whatever. Uh, if I want to get in on a market, there's all the different order types available here. So that is the first way, and arguably my least favorite. This requires that you have another monitor where you can look at charts and then trade based on this chain. Um, at the same time. So it's very inconvenient if you only have one screen to look at. That being said, I am going to show you some good ways to trade with only one screen. So the first way is to copy and paste the option chain into our Active Trader tab. So for example, let's say we want to trade the 314 puts here. I'm going to right click, come all the way to here where it says copy, and then it's this dot spy, one nine, and you know, so on and so forth. I'm going to click the copy. And I'm going to come up here to the Active Trader tab. It's Alt-4 if you like using hotkeys. So we're going to come here. You can see I have a SPY chart here on the five minute. Uh, on the left and on the right is this thing called Active Trader. You can tell these are two separate windows by this icon up here. If we click that, you can see we're highlighting two windows. If it was just one, it would be just the SPY chart. Something I do want to show you really quickly is if we click Active Trader, let's, say, let's just say we do that and we think we can copy and paste it into here. That's not how this works. Uh, if we're in one window, as noted by this one large rectangle, this Active Trader will correlate to whatever chart is here. So that's not what we want to do, so we'll unclick that, go back to two, and we have this empty thing, which we'll be able to move here in a second. So what I'm going to do is Command V to paste in that code. You can see it pops up here. We'll click that. And now the active trader window is open. I like to have level twos on just so I can sort of see the depth of market there. So that's that. The other thing we have up top is a few options. So this is another important thing that you should familiarize yourself before you start trading options. We have these buttons up top, which we can customize with this gear here. I like mine how they are, so I'm going to leave them. If we want to buy instantly, sell instantly, cancel an order, reverse our position, or flatten. Flatten just means selling every bit of what you have, regardless of what the quantity is set to here. Uh, we can change the quantity manually up and down. We can select predetermined amounts, 5, 10, 20, as many as you want, really, and I'm pretty sure you can change those as well. We can change our template, so if we want to just buy uh, a single, if we want to use a one cancels another, a trigger order with a bracket, two, three, so on and so forth, and you can make custom ones. You can see I have a custom 10 cent scalper down here as well. 
So that's something you can play with. Another really important feature here on this Active Trader tab is this auto send. For example, if I have it unchecked and I come down here to click and this, you know, for example, we're going to buy one limit here at that price, you can see the dialog box comes up and I do have to confirm and send this way. If I have auto send checked off and I come down and I click the same thing, you can see that automatically my order is sent, it shows up on the chart, it shows up in the level twos, and I am there uh, ready to buy instantly without having to confirm. So that's something you do want to familiarize yourself, make sure it's either on or off, depending on what you like and your preferences. So just to play it safe, we'll uncheck it for now. And that is the copy and paste method. The rest of these are going to be very similar. I'm not going to have to explain to you all of these buttons again. So the next one is going to be the send to link option. So I'm leaving this up first because we're going to change this little link over here to number two yellow. I'm using number two yellow just because over here we're using number one red. So let's just to prove that it works, go to let's just load up Netflix in here. You can see the share price of Netflix is around 31466. This is definitely Netflix. It is not a spy option. If we go back into the all products tab into our option chain, Let's say we want to switch over to calls this time. So what I'm going to do is say, we like the 316 calls. We're going to right click. And then at the very bottom, you see this option that says, send the option code to, and we're going to choose number two yellow, which is what we had selected. So back to the active trader tab. Now you can see that we have, instead of Netflix up here, we have the spy um, 316 calls and uh, it, they're already loaded in for us. So that's the send to method. And again, everything pertains. We can click anywhere on the depth of market ladder over here to buy, you know, and again, the auto send is not on. So depending on how you have that configured, you may have to confirm your order. My last and most favorite method of getting options into the active trader tab is simply the drop down menu. We come over here, we click options. We come over here one more time. And if I click on recent, because SPY is something that I frequently look at and recently have looked at, I can click that. And next thing you know, I have the option chain loaded into this drop down menu. I have everything I had in the all products tab now right here at my fingertips. So I can minimize these to show myself more um, expiration dates. I can go back up here. I can change the amount of strikes that I'm able to see. Again, purple means that it's in the money. Black means that it's out of the money. The only thing that we can't quite do here is look at theta, delta, and some of those more technical um, values or volume, things like that. So the only thing we can hear, hear, see here is the market value and the strike and the expiration, but that's no worries. So this is my favorite way just because we can flip back and forth between different strikes. Say I want the 312 puts, I can do that. Now they're instantly loaded. Once you've had it already you know, configured, options, recent, spy, there's no need to do it again. You can just come over here, say I want to switch to calls, 316 calls again, I'm already back on it. So this is a really nice and convenient way to switch back and forth between puts and calls, different strikes, different expirations, depending on your trading style. So that's why it is my favorite. It's the most versatile and definitely the quickest and fastest. So I hope you were able to learn something from this video. If you learned anything, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you learned. If you want to see different types of educational content, let me know down below as well. If you didn't learn anything or you have some comments and criticism, let me know in the comments section and I can certainly address it. With that, I wish you a green trading week and I'll see you on Monday.